And so ends Chekhov's The Cherry Orchard with a sound effect. The sound of an axe chopping down the trees in the magnificent orchard. A moment or so later, another sound is heard. Listen. A sad sound and a dying one. So say Chekhov's stage directions. Rather like a harp string breaking quite high in the air, far off. Now, what do these sounds mean? Chekhov, we know, considered sound effects to be terribly important in evoking the right sort of mood in his audience. What then did he have in mind with this sound of the harp string? Here's a scene in which we first hear that sound. Was that noise? I don't know. Somewhere far away, in the mines, a cable may have broken loose. It must be very far away. Perhaps it was some sort of bird, a heron or something, or an owl. <laughs> Sounded uncanny somehow. A moment or so later, another sound is heard. Listen. or so later, another sound is heard. Listen. And stay out! A moment or so later, another sound is heard. Sound is heard. Sound is heard. Sound is heard. Listen. sad sound. The uh, dying one. So say Chekhov's stage directions. Rather like a breaking quite high in the air, far off. Here's a scene in which we first hear that sound. Suddenly there is a distant sound, as if from the sky. The sound of a breaking string dying away. Sad. What was that noise? Sounded uncanny somehow. The harp string and the axe. On one level, the axe is simple. The cherry orchard is to be cut down to make way for summer cottages. But is it also to be interpreted as a symbol of the revolution that was to destroy the old Russia to make way for the new, and the harp string. Is this a symbol of a dying way of life? If so, and a good case can be made for such an interpretation, the meaning of Chekhov's play ought to be clear. Why then have producers of the Cherry Orchard found it so difficult to stage? <laughs> 